There are few anime fans that haven't heard of Production IG. The studio has created some of the most exportable films and series, most notably the Ghost in the Shell franchise. Today the studio has expanded and works to create the Haikyuu and Psychopath series while still investing in feature films. Here are 5 things you need to know about the studio. Honestly, there's many things you should know about Production IG, but I feel I've got to start with this. They own a pizza restaurant, and it's located right next to their head office. It's quite a sight. You'll be walking down the street, see a sign for Production IG head office, and see a pizza restaurant right behind it. It's called Musashino Campus Kamayaki Pizza, and conveniently enough, it's where Production IG holds its rap parties. The walls are also decorated with the signatures of artists. Production IG started out as IG Tatsunoko, a branch studio from the legendary studio Tatsunoko Production, who'd become famous for their Gatchaman and Yataman properties. One of the goals of IG was to create original feature films, since they felt that anime was becoming seen as just an extension of manga. In 1993, they ended their relationship to Tatsunoko and became Production IG. However, amusingly enough, 17 years later, their fates had twisted. IG had become a huge company thanks to the successes of their many works works, while Tatsunoko's productions had slowed down. In 2010, Production IG bought a stake in Tatsunoko, and its president, Mitsuhisa Ishikawa, now serves as a director for the company he left. I mentioned that IG had expanded. This includes Signal MD, a digital first studio, Wit Studio, a team capable of pursuing their own works outside of Production IG franchises, and also Mag Garden, a manga publisher. This is significant because it means that the studio can get first dibs on Mag Garden properties. For instance, Wit Studio adapted The Ancient Majesty's Bride and created the feature film for Laughing Under the Clouds. We'll likely see more Mag Garden properties get adapted in the future thanks to this close relationship. From the start, IG wanted to seek out talented directors and they put their trust in some really far out talents. For instance, Ishikawa has a lot of respect for Misaki Yuasa in particular, although one of the biggest names that works with IG is Momoro Oshii, famous for the Ghost in the Shell and Pat Labor films. In the late 1980s, Oshii was creating a series of Pat Labor OVAs. While Studio Dean was credited for animation production, Production IG cooperated on episodes 1, 3, 5 and 7. Oshii enjoyed working with IG so much that he committed to creating every animated feature film with IG, and so far, He's done exactly that. There are a few studios that actually invest in American branches, and those that have usually end up going bust. But IG have been steadfast in their commitment to creating works for overseas audiences. They've created the animation for Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, had the first ever anime collaboration with a US cable channel with IGPX, and even have a subsidiary named Production IG USA based in Los Angeles. And now, they are one of the first studios to be asked to create a Netflix original series with Be The Beginning. Recently, they also created Soul Levante for Netflix, the first 4K anime film. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan, and feel free to subscribe to find out more about Japanese anime, games, fashion, music, and more.